Time for us to take another break, but don't go anywhere because when we get back, we'll be having a Thursday treat with some homemade ice cream and red wine poached pears. But heading into the break now, here's your chance to be spoiled on us. Yes, welcome back to Late Lunch Live. We frog marched Tom Dorley up to the kitchen. Well, we actually haven't. We've, we've been gentle with him, you know? We're mindful that he hasn't been well of late. Uh, we're... I volunteered. You did volunteer. <laughs> did volunteer. <laughs> Bravely volunteered. <laughs> uh, we're in the kitchen with Paul Callahan. Calso, as he's known to his mates. Uh, and uh, we've got a food critic here, Paul, so... I know, I know. I'll just sort of go down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Tom. You're grand. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? What we're going to do is we're going to make up the, the, the poaching liquid for the, the pears. So I'll get yeah. you onto this, Tom, if you wouldn't mind coming yeah, around this I'll other side. Here. It's a dessert that we're making today, Paul. Yeah, we've got... It is, yeah. It's a healthier alternative to a dessert. So we've mm. got our red wine there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you wouldn't mind just pouring all that in. All of that in, yep. yep. And yep. we're going to get you to... You can't two... put your mouth down near it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inhaling it. I'm inhaling it. <laughs> so we'll just turn that on to a good heat. And what we're going to add then is five tablespoons of honey. So just if you just free pour, Tom, it'll be grand. You can, yeah, I know I mean, you can judge it. Roughly speaking. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. go with that. I love instinctive cooking, actually, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing about cooking is you can sort of improvise and you can uh, do what you want, whereas bacon's more an art. You have it, to go yeah, with the, the well, recipe. That's yeah. about it, I'd say. Isn't that should do okay. Yeah, Tell me that. One for luck. One though, for luck, yeah. why not? Okay. Sweet, <laughs> it might sweeten you up a wee bit. Ah, uh, well, um, well, there is a challenge. <laughs> there is a challenge. Now, two tablespoons of... Tablespoons? Two tablespoons of vanilla. Or, oh, sorry, two teaspoons of that, sorry. Two teaspoons of two vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I know. Yeah, I was going to say, that is... Mm, that's <laughs> a lot of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> you told me about him, didn't you? <laughs> now, yeah, I'd say that's now Tom, bad. you'd be pretty impressed with Paul because you believe that anyone can cook. Oh, yeah. If they yeah, put yeah, their yeah. mind to it. Sure, yeah. And, and Paul, Paul was a plasterer and right. in yep. recent years has become a food blogger. Excellent. And yes. has written his own book. Excellent. Well, it has to be done. And that's, a, that's how we found him, and that's why he's on the show so much. Exactly. He's good at what uh, he does. Excellent. And were you always a food and No, not there? at all. No, right. not at all. It's only um, once the plastering quit, I yeah. started growing my own fruit and vegetables as a hobby ah, out in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just took off from there. All this fresh it's produce. A brilliant and, uh, way to discover cooking is, it is. with your own produce. It yeah. is. It just meant that, yeah. that I had to start cooking it, so I had no other choice but to yeah, get you stuck feel, in there. Yeah, because you feel you, you won't trust anyone else. With no, no, definitely. Yeah. And I'm sort of like yeah. that. I, I don't trust anyone else to do my work. I'd be the same. Not you, Tom. I totally. I trust you in it 100%. <laughs> most, most unwise, most unwise. Yeah, yeah. I'll have but, to butter you up. Now, we've yeah. got uh, cinnamon and star anise, if you wouldn't mind Lovely. putting that in. Pop that in there. Okay. Pop that infused. And then I'll just squeeze the juice, seeing as this uh, pure one arm bandit. sharpness. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good. Of yeah. a lemon in. That's lovely. That's one thing and that I can't just gets do, to actually, yeah. stew away there, does it? Yeah, you just let that, that stew away, is right, Martin? Um, and what we're going to do now is get our pears on the go. Mm -hmm. So I've already cored my pears here, which is just with the with a apple core, just go into the mm -hmm. underside and just take out the core so you're left with okay. this here because you want to keep them intact. Okay. And so then. we're just going to give these a quick pear. Pear, yes. Mm -hmm. Excuse the pun. By the way, can I ask, do you have to use red wine on this? No, you can use white wine if you want to. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Our um Connor was telling me earlier there that he done Prosecco with them as well. So really? <laughs> <laughs> I, d I didn't take his advice at so all. So go to one. Do you know it would be lovely? It would be port, wouldn't it? I port mean, would be expensive. nice. It would be very rich, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So look, we're just, for argument's sake, we're just going to peel off two pears here and put these in. And basically what you want to do is bring it to the, the boil mm -hmm. and then reduce it to a simmer. And then we put our pears in and we poach the pears, just lay them in and we poach their pears for about 15, 18 minutes on mm -hmm. one side. Turn them over then for about another 12 minutes or so. On the other side. On then. the other side. And it just brings the colour through, brings all the okay. infusion mm, of, of okay. all the... All right. all that the colour is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So what we do is just, as I say, we'll pop those in like yeah. so. Okay. Right. Now, while that is going on, um, we can see that the one you prepared earlier... One I prepared earlier, yeah. ...is almost there to completion. Now, what we have here... Thank you very much, Tom. What we have here is... I'll just use this and just scoop them yeah, out. Oh, ...is yeah. our pears... Mm. I've been poaching, and I'll just put these onto the plate. So they're nice, soft mm. and tender. You, you, you know he's a food blogger and he's been doing this a while because he has developed his own asbestos fingers. Yeah, yeah, I have indeed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That might have been from the plastering days too, in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> so just stand our mm, lovely. pairs up. Okay. And they're still nice and firm, but they're tender. They're, exactly, they're, they're exactly, right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lovely spicy aroma. I know we can't yeah, it's do... like it's like mulled wine kind mulled of scent. Wine, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is pop this back on the heat, 
and we're going to bring it up full whack. And we just want to reduce this down to a nice sticky syrup. Mm. Now, in the meantime, I couldn't do it live on the show as it was too noisy. But yeah. in the meantime, I have my frozen bananas here. So what you want to do is cut up your bananas into slices. Mm -hmm. So especially when bananas are getting nice and ripe. Maybe a little bit too violent there. <laughs> um, while you're, you know, to, to save waste on, on bananas too, once they're getting nice and ripe, slice them up, pop them into a freezer bag, into the freezer, forget about them until you want them. Mm -hmm. Then take them out of the freezer, pop them into a food processor, and just blitz them up, literally 30, 40 seconds. A wee squeeze of honey in as it's mm. turning. Mm. Okay. And we end up... With this. With our ice cream. Oh, yum. And it, and it looks like ice wow, cream. Wow, it Exactly, does, it looks it? like ice cream, it tastes like ice cream. It is ice cream. Yay. <laughs> so, you know, it's just Yay. the right texture. Then what you want to do with the likes of this... Sorry, Tom, can Sorry, just get yeah, in there in a second? Um, what you want to do with the likes of this, then, is just... Get my huge chopping board out, Martin. All right. Are you jealous? I'm wildly jealous, don't you? <laughs> By the way, there are alternatives to this as well. You, you can use when any kind of... You're, you're bringing in the nuts, but you can use any kind oh, of... Oh, you, can, you use can use any chocolate. kind of... Yes, exactly. You could, like, break up a crunchy bar if you wanted just a wee bit of indulgence Ooh. into it oh, and add it into yeah. it. So we'll just lightly crush, <laughs> lightly crush our walnuts and just give them a, a coarse chop. Okay. Like uh, so. And that's just a sprinkle over the top. It just gives another yeah. wee element and a bit of texture to it. You know yourself, chew, sometimes, yeah, yeah mm. ice cream can be a little bit bland. Mm. So we'll take this. So what, what goes into the ice cream again? You've, you've, you've got your frozen... It's frozen bananas. Yeah. You blitz it up in this, and just as it's, start, as it's starting to break up, a squirt of honey, and it just well, brings no, it together a bit no of sweetness. There's no dairy or anything. Absolutely, no, no. no. It's, it's, it's a healthy free, it's dessert. Gluten free, wow. Yeah. And it's yeah. brilliant. it is brilliant for, for kids, it'll turn, yeah. you know, if they fancy a bit of ice cream during the day. We've only got, yeah. we've only got a, a, about half a minute left. That's okay, no oh. problem at all. So what we're going to do is... Oh, we're getting posh. Oh. I'm getting posh. Look. I've got a food critic with oh. Of course I'm posh. <laughs> so we just, a little bit of the yeah. reduction. Oh, yes. right. Well, look at the colour, isn't that Over fabulous? Yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can just yeah. the ice cream in on top. A little bit of ice cream just... Fantastic. <laughs> on the side of each. Okay. Really? And, and shockingly healthy. Shockingly healthy is right. There's only a bottle of wine in it, but it's shockingly healthy. <laughs> uh, we boil the alcohol off. Exactly, though, exactly. Which is a terrible okay. thing to do, but you know. <laughs> uh, well, so, but Tom, as our food critic and guest, you've got the job of eating Oh, excellent. Oh, well, I... I, I um, it's, it's it really is gig. a tough gig for you. Really, I, I have yeah, no idea if, how, if, how... If the arm isn't working, we can cut it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, lovely tender pear. I'm always going to take some ice cream with it. So we yeah, have okay. together. Mmm. Mmm. We just step beside you, Martin, for backup. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's two of us here, Tom, right? Two of us. You take, you only, you take on him too. You've only got one arm. <laughs> <laughs> if, Good call. <laughs> if even that. Well, I have to say, it's absolutely gorgeous because the spiciness, funnily enough, the spiciness of the red wine somehow picks up the sort of spiciness of ripe banana as well. Yes. Because you know the way ripe banana yes. has a spicy air. I think it's absolutely okay. gorgeous. And I think the ice cream is. Okay. It works. Take it easy. It works. With details. Well, for now, we've got to say a huge thanks to our guest today, Amanda Brunker. Woo! Don't forget tonight, watch on TV Tree, brand new show, Tom Dorley, Woo! Mr. Connor Pope, and not forgetting Mr. Paul Callahan in the kitchen. Uh -huh. We'll see you all tomorrow. Who Thank is you. so relieved, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> We're back here again tomorrow at 3.30. See you then. Bye-bye.